Morning. And we have a little area where you can take a break. Uh, is that just a loop, is it? Yeah, okay. Got some nice information signs here. And just show you over here the um, pit toilets so you can. Have a little bit of a break on the way round and some garbage bins. We're on this side. We used to know we started here. That's a part. This yeah. is what we've done. Yeah. So like a couple of miles. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're stay near the, stay near the river. Not too bad today. Uh, not too, not too warm. And uh, the exercise is having a good effect on me. I think. Oh, a couple of doggies coming. Put our one on the lead. Yeah. Morning. <laughs> yep, got the camera facing me. I've got my GoPro with me as well. I've got a feeling this is going to run out of uh, steam or card or battery somewhere along the trail. I'm interested to see how easy this is to download at the end of the day. Because uh, I have a lot of problem with my GoPro. That's a Hero 10. Missing footage, can't find it. Nightmare to download. And my DJI has been real uh, easy so far. I just hope uh, it's not Windows 11 that's screwing everything up. Should have brought me selfie stick because. Uh, That would have been uh, handy. And this river goes out to uh, the Thunderbird Spit where we do lots of walking as well. That's where the float planes are. Oh, there's a bit of a road there. I didn't notice that before.
bit of a road. Just maintenance crews. Alright, Rover. You what? The trees? Yeah. yeah. Actually, it might be easier if we go that way because we've got to walk past the hydro station. There's a bit of a building, yeah. and uh, normally you have to go behind it because the water goes right up to the building, and then it's the fence. So we just go round to the back of the building, and then into the spawning grounds. Rover, I think he uh, he might be okay now. He put his jacket on this morning because of his haircut, and uh, I guess it was like minus three this morning, getting up to maybe five, six, seven, eight degrees now. Sorry, Tina. I don't know. It's like some sort of substation, doesn't it? Is it a pumping station? Maybe pump water over to uh, the mill. Used to have a pulp mill here, and I believe this was something to do with them pumping water from the river over to the uh, pulp mill. I might be wrong. Then again, if you uh, if you know for sure and you see this, and you like to comment, that'd be much appreciated. It's a shame actually this is so ugly this area because up until now the trail's been really nice yeah maybe they're still working on it yeah and this line here is most probably heading over to uh, the catalyst pulp mill there's a big pipe there well they've closed the mill so uh, whether they're sending water over or not, I don't know. Oh, the graffiti. And you can see across the river, there's the Gold River Road. That's the one we come up to get to the car park. There we go. It's uh, a lot flatter now. I think we're going to be in the uh, flat area now where the spawning grounds are. Like I can say, these are pretty much man made for the benefit of the, the, the salmon fry, where they can uh, come and go up before they go out to the river, uh, leave the river and go out to sea. Yeah, they put the logs and gravel, gives them, gives them protection. It's quite often you can see the, uh, the little uh, crayfish in there as well. 
Yeah, this is lovely, it's a little spot, nice and cool in the summer as well because there's so much water and shade here. It's very nice to walk here in the summer when it's hot. Got the gentle running water and it's a little bit cooler in the trees. Oh, another big tree. Look at that big tree. There's some information, but it's looking a bit, uh, a bit rough. Basically, they're just telling you that uh, this habitat is for the baby salmon and the wildlife. And it's really nice for us as well because it is really relaxing, and you come down here and calm down, get away from the stresses of uh, town. Again, nice boardwalks everywhere. It's almost, almost, I say almost, user chair, uh, wheelchair friendly, this area, this lower section anyway. If you've got maybe a slightly off-road capable wheelchair. There's that tree stuck between those. Yeah. <laughs> Who did that? <laughs> yeah, oh, maybe it just fell down. I got stuck there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, this DJI is doing really well. I've been going a long time now. Well, I'm getting in the red. I think my SIM card is filling up and I'll change to the, the GoPro next. Oh, Rover's really enjoying himself. Well, I've just uh, shut down the GoPro, the card was full, uh, not the GoPro, the DJI was just full, so let's do a little bit of an intro. This is um, the Canyon View Trail Part 2. I've filled up the, the, the memory card on the DJI, so I'm going to finish off with the, uh, the GoPro. We're still only about halfway around, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, might be a lot of uh, editing going on, so at least an hour's walk. Uh, you might end up with uh, 10 minutes or so video. Let's see how it goes. We'll get, get to film a little bit more. And I think we'll most probably stop when we get to the... Uh, main road it's not it's not very nice with the sound of cars going by i'm with uh, tina and emily today and we're in the last section of the uh what do they call this one now it's the uh, canyon view trail sorry and like i say this is the lower section which is uh almost i say almost uh maybe uh, wheelchair friendly if you've uh, been here in a wheelchair and you think so maybe let me know in the comments and if you think I'm talking rubbish also let me know because we don't want people coming down in wheelchairs if, uh, if I made a mistake but we're just coming up to the the bridge which leads back to the Gold River Road
looking back up the trail. We're just coming out of the spawning grounds now. There's Emily and Tina and Rover just having a little rest. It's uh, definitely a nice walk. Oh, look at this. Where those rocks have come from, they just put them there to protect the trail. You know, but it's on the lead, you see, there's a dog coming. Hi there. We're in spring break at the moment, so the kids are off school. Even still, you, it's been a pretty quiet hike. Not a lot of people. So even though we're literally just a minute or two drive from Campbell River, it's a lovely little uh, relaxing area to come unwind, get some fresh air, listen to the river. Maybe even come and have your lunch. Sit by, uh, sit on one of the picnic tables up by the dam. Well, not the dam, the uh, power station. Yeah, I think you could get some sort of wheelchair in there as well. Because this is one of the entrances here to the lower section. Bit, bit bumpy. See how much fun it'd be coming down the river in a kayak here. That rock in the middle, I've seen the water almost coming over that so i say it's most probably an average flow at the moment and as we uh, look down the river towards quadra island and uh, the estuary it's about another half hour maybe and you're going to come out at rebecca um the thunderbird spit where the float planes are and you can just see the bridge down there that's the uh, the two bridges that go the, uh, the inland highway going up to uh, Saywood going north I'm not too sure if Tina feels like walking all the way back up I mean if she doesn't we can me and Tina can uh, me and Emily can go and get the car and uh, I'm going to have a rest if her back's playing her up. Oh, Nan. Oh, we haven't seen any. There's a chap out there fishing. But uh, it seems a bit early, really, to me. Where's the accent from? Oh, England. Yeah. London, South East, uh, Catford, Bromley, Lewisham. Yeah? What part? Sorry? Oh. You walking all the way back, Tina? Yeah, I think I can do it. Yeah. 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 Funny ducks. Mm -hmm. Funny yeah. ducks? Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's go and have a look, look at the ducks. This is a nice little beach here. Like I say, you have just, uh, you can park your car in like 30 feet from there. <laughs> the ducks are gone. <laughs> and lots of people come here in the summer and fish. Or you can put in, uh, put in a kayak or canoe here as well and go down the rest of the the Campbell River towards uh, Thunderbird Spit but no fishermen at the moment
Let me see how close we are to the road. I can feel a bit of a breeze coming down the river. I hope that's not putting any whistling on the microphone. I believe this might be, I think that's the uh, Huckleberry. Well, I know better in the, a little bit further on in uh, the season. Because you can pick those and eat them, these like little bright red berries. Wouldn't have touched them before I got to Canada because you know eating berries can be a bit a bit dodgy. Oh, here come those doggies again. Well, they're doing well. <laughs> yeah. They're <laughs> doing well, yeah. <laughs> I don't feel like we're doing well. <laughs> no, the dogs are we're leading the no charge. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we feel like just met them. We're coming out a little bit near the road. Fishing game. Sandy, if you want to bring your uh, bow and arrow, they've got a range up there. Used to go there in the winter. That got pretty reasonable at shooting a bow and arrow at one time. Yeah. You getting a drink, Rover? <laughs> yeah, oh, he's found any sticks in the water? No stick, Rover, you're going to get wet. Oh, he's having a good drink, yeah. Mm. Got to load it all up again. Yeah. Lots of trees to mark on the way. <laughs> Jack it in on one side. Yeah. Come on. Rover, keep, come back. Just came off a little bit. Love the sound of the river. I always sleep well when I'm camping next to uh, moving water. You see how varied this uh, this trail is. It's, uh, lots, one end is very steep and full of stairs. Then you've got the spawning grounds, which is nice and level. Almost, maybe quite possibly wheelchair friendly. And then we've got this side. Oh, there's a nice bench. Look at that bench. That's uh, done with a chainsaw, I think. 
Oh, nice. Yeah, look at that spot there. What a lovely spot to put a put a, uh, a bench so you can come and sit here, relax, listen to the water. Very nice. Yeah. An idyllic spot to relax. I think soon we're going to come across the uh, Quinson River so that comes down from the fish hatchery we'll have to uh, go up close to the road to cross that unless they've uh, altered it and put a bridge across the footbridge across and so yeah uh, fortunately I haven't been down here for a while Across. This is the Quinton Lakotis Strain. I think I'm going to have to go up. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to have to cross uh, on the road bridge. Yeah, that's a shame. Well, there's some rocks to climb up here. Oh dear, oh dear. The ankle's a bit stiff. Trucks coming. We just walk across now. It's wide enough, it's safe enough. got lumbered with the dog on the lead which is uh, a requirement of the trail it's going to be a bit naughty and let him run here and there but we're too close to the road now if we see how the dog we will put him on the lead and he's been a pretty good boy today and we're finishing up now another maybe 10 minutes and we'll be at the car park I certainly feel like I've worked up my appetite today. Oh gosh, come on Rover. It's a problem trying to walk him on the stop start. He's got to sniff every tree where some dog left a mark. Maybe put a doggy cam on him. There's a little side channel spawning ground. Oh, 
another good access for a kayak as well right next to the road The sun's coming out, it's really nice. Blue skies. Don't think it's gonna last apparently back to rain on Saturday, that's what I'm hearing Emily say. For me this is perfect weather though, I love this. Not too hot, not too cold. He is. He's still pulling like crazy though. Oh, yeah. Well, it's like a salmon ladder of some sort, maybe there. Yeah, little jumps that the salmon can maybe come up. They want to cross the river here. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Yeah. They can cross the road here. They jump up into these. Uh, little waterfalls and then they make their way through the culvert to the uh, stream the other side and off to the uh, maybe the Quinson River or the fish hatchery over there there's a whole system of lakes around here ladder construction was made possible by the generous contributions of yes. yeah yeah, this is, uh, yeah, very nice. Oh, looks like some people up in the river. I don't know if they're kayakers or maybe it could be uh, emergency response, practicing rescues or something. This is quite quite common. I've seen that this has been going on for years. People come in and make little carvings in the bankment here yeah could be a yeah could be a snake hole or well, someone just dug a hole scare you oh, i've got some white water rescuers maybe going on practicing down there just guessing of course oh, going up it again Maybe they're search and rescue, practicing.
<laughs> Are you search and rescue? Are you guys search and rescue? Or firemen? You know, like search and, res search and rescue or just kayakers? Search and rescue? Oh, okay. Great. Well done. <laughs> so it looks like a search and rescue training team. <laughs> Friendly enough. <laughs> Coming to the end of the trail. I made it. Mum's feeling good. <laughs> I need a one hour walk. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm gonna... Have... Things gotta be a bit careful with her bad back. Yeah. I took some singing glibbers. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's going to be ages of uh, right. editing. <laughs> part one and part two. Yeah, that's what I said when I changed over from the DJI to the GoPro. We'll do it in two parts. Gives people a good idea of uh, what part of the walk they want to want to try. Because yeah. uh, there's plenty of parking along the route. Trails, yeah. This one takes nearly one hour, one hour and fifteen minutes. Yeah, it's depending on your energy speed, level yeah. and if you've got a dog that wants to keep walking. Yeah, that's okay. So we'd have to leave 10 30, I think. Yeah, well, we're not in any rush. No, we just take Yeah, it. that's the beauty. Uh, you can pick and choose which areas you want to walk. People like doing the stairs, like the uh, gentleman on the on the uh, other part, getting tr doing his training for the Kusum climb. Mm. <laughs> He's just going up and down them stairs. Wow! And that that's still months away, the Kusum climb. Yes. He's got to get fit for it. Yeah, it's not the sort of. Uh, walk in the park that I think a lot of people believe uh, the Kusum climb is yeah. it's a real tough race personally I think it's a two day hike myself I've done it uh, and I was pretty tired at the end of it that's like 20 years ago yeah. and I was pretty fit then so for me I'd like to stop halfway you can camp on the mountain 
there's uh, water up there streams that you can get water from you can boil it filter it put your tent up somewhere yeah it's hard to stop looking at this river it's really nice I'm really looking forward to actually getting the kayak in, in at the top now I know that that gate is open last time I was there that gate was locked and I didn't know they were opening it I thought they'd stopped kayakers going down the river but I guess they've opened it again there's some sort of bird or something out there or trees must be hard for people who live in deserts or dry climates you see all this lovely water just rushing by another nice bench look at the quality of that bench it's been made out of 4x12s lovely Are you having to sit down Tina? Yeah. You... let's have a little break yeah, let's have a little sit down. And we've got a lovely view there from the bench. Look at that. That's great. That's really small, this sunshine. Yep, more sunshine like this. Bring a nice picnic, eh? Yeah. Okay, we were leaving the bench now. Carry on the hike. Oh, I was going to get a little drinky poos, a little cool down. Yeah, that's good for him. No, oh wait, fussy little drinker. No, he's alright. That's maintenance problems, yeah. So they're looking after the trowel. That's nice of them. BC Hydro. Yeah, this is a nice spot to put in your... Yeah, look at that. Nice spot. Oh, I dumped loads of gravel here. Good for the salmon, the Chinook salmon. the car park and you can see it's the loop can we keep uh, we meet we're going uh, clock rise and we're bumping into the people going anti-clockwise <laughs> I'm not bumping into them but uh, we're meeting them hi there right, Tina 
the last stairs. Oh, it seemed a funny height. I keep bumping the toe on the... Here we are back at the car. Well, that's the Canyon View Trail. Then we're going to have to do it in two parts. Uh, it's quite a. Well, in other words, it's going to be quite a long video. So we're at the uh, top car park where the old generating station used to be. And uh, it's quite a nice start if you don't mind stairs. And then if you want to do the lower part, is uh, it's flatter, easier going if you're not too uh, energetic and there's a nice calm area where the uh, spawning grounds are on the other side of the bridge and into the uh, forest there. Anyway I'll say bye to now, for now because I'm running out of SIM card and we'll catch you later with another video. Thanks a lot for watching and hope you can uh, like and subscribe and please comment if, you, if there's anything you'd like to add. Thanks a lot, bye.